Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Mel from Melamore Nursery, and I have brought back sweet Sabrina, who is going to be featured today for Silicone Saturday. And I have not yet come up with a name for my Cuddle Baby Silicone that was created by the same artist as Sabrina here. So, because I haven't, I thought that I would bring on her sister. So, she has a new pink passy in her mouth right now. And I'm going to try to get the camera closer if I can. As close as I can without making you guys dizzy. Sorry about that, folks. So I have her dressed in a funky, cute little outfit. And why I wanted her in this outfit is because my daughter made this hat with the pom-poms on it. Um, this is a brand new passy for her. Um, she does have three. So... She's got her regular purple one, then she's got a clear white one and a pink one. So we're just going to remove that passy. It's been recently lubricated. I use lubrication that's in these. I use these containers and I put in just um, a, a, like a KY jelly in that for her. And she's always got her little blankie and her little mouse. These are Sabrina's and have been for a while. And I have done actually a special on Sabrina, which is coming up, that has been requested by a number of you. And I will be doing one on Clara as well. And it's to do with her drink and wet system. But today, I wanted to show you this little outfit that she's got on. Now, Sabrina is a 16-inch full-bodied silicone with a drink and wet system. She's biracial, and she weighs 4 pounds, and she was created, poured, um, rooted, and painted... Um, and she's got combi hair by an artist called Heidi Lynn. So this is how I have her dressed right now. So my daughter made that hat for her. She's got a little skirt. She's got little bloomers on under there. And these folks, these booties, which I will show you quickly. are the first booties I have made in I don't know how long for Sabrina. And I've been working on them for, oh my goodness, did it pick up something here? Um, it was white yarn. So I, I guess I've been working on them for about a week, a week and a half. So last time I had brought on Sabrina, I showed you this yellow, um, little blanket, little washcloth that I'd made. So this time I thought I'd use the same sort of thing. And all it is is knit and purl. And it was with very small needles. And they're very small and I'm very proud of them. So those are her little booties because Sabrina didn't have her own little pair of booties. And I felt it was really important to give her a pair of booties. So those are her booties. And of course, these are her socks, her little pink um, frilly socks. So today is Saturday. I'm going to dress her in a sleeper and get her all cozy. And out of this cute little outfit. And... I, 
Part of me wanted to try on some other clothes that she has because I've amassed quite a bit. But I don't, I don't know that I'm going to do that. Um, I think I'm just going to do my video normally. Now this outfit does have Velcro in the back. Because she is 16 inches, a lot of the clothing I'd gotten for Sabrina um, I'd found in different ways, like I looked for certain doll clothes, for example, and certain, um, certain other avenues in the beginning of collecting for her so that she would have outfits that weren't necessarily, um, newborn baby or preemie baby outfits. Sorry about my voice, folks. I have been working <laughs> all night and um, I lose my voice after a while. But um, if the clothes fit this little girl in the beginning when I was collecting them for her, I absolutely kept them because it's very, very difficult for me to find clothing. So that was the little skirt that I took off of her. It's really cute. And the shirt is like that. So it was a really cute little combo. And she's got quite a number of cute little outfits. She really does. And a number of them I've never ever shown. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. And this hat's going to come off now. Oh, and she's got a piece of that yarn because my daughter always likes to leave these strings in there just in case the pom-poms come loose and it needs to be tied up there. So that's my daughter's um, way of doing it. That way, if a pom-pom falls off, it can be threaded back through with a needle. That's how she explained it to me. Because I asked her, I said, should I trim those off? And she said, no, mom, don't. Because if ever, the pom-poms fall off and she made both the pom-poms as well. Um, she said they can be threaded through again, easy. So that's why they're left there. So there is sweet Sabrina. She's been recently powdered and that was all done on a separate video. And she is beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. She's got um, combi hair. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit here so that you can all see it. You see her little curls? Maybe you don't. And, um, I'm actually hoping you guys can see her. There she is. She's been sculpted really well, folks. Really, really, really well. Yeah, she's a beautiful little girl. And she's got a little tongue in her little mouth. Of course, she's got such a tiny mouth. Beautiful hands. I know I show a lot of her, but she's medical grade silicone. Heidi did a wonderful job on her. Anyway, let me show you what I'm going to put on her. I'm going to put on this elephant onesie. Now, this outfit is going to be under the hashtag of new doll clothes because she has never worn this before. It is by the brand Teeny Tiny. It's three to five pounds. Sabrina is four pounds. This was ordered from um, a company in the UK. And I'm sorry, folks, I cannot remember the company. I should. I have a receipt for it. So, where did I put the receipt? Where did I put it? Here it is. The company name. Okay, so the lady's name was Anne. I know that much. These were purchased off... Oh, Kitty, Kitty Winks. Thank you for shopping with Kitty Winks. So,
Yeah, so this set, okay, this was the set here. Now it's a four piece set. It comes with this undershirt, these, my goodness, threads. I'm pretty sure she didn't wear this before. Comes with these little tiny mitts. It comes with this elephant sleeper and a elephant bib. And according to this, and I'll just kind of hold back my personal information, I paid $30 Canadian. The company is Kitty Winks. And the lady's name is Anne. And she was a very kind woman to work with. And I bought four separate items from her um, to fit Sabrina. And this was one of them. So this little girl is going to get a brand new undershirt on. And I am going to go over her head. because she does have um, combi hair. Yeah, normally I don't, but with her right now I will because she's got painted hair on the sides and she's been like uh, rooted at the top. So, and because I've learned to dress this little girl and because of the way that her limbs are. She's very easy to dress, so I don't have to worry about um, her limbs or anything like that. And I've recently powdered her. Like I said, I just finished doing a separate special video with her um, regarding her drink and wet system, which I will post either before this video or after this video. I'm not quite sure, but... Um, maybe later. It turned out to be a little longer video than I expected, but um, it had been requested on my Instagram by a number of people. So as you can see, this little onesie fits her really well. Really well. And I really think pink and white on Sabrina really suits her. I mean, look at her. My goodness. She's got her crib blankets down with her. She always comes down with those blankets, but look at her. So absolutely adorable. Look at these little feet. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well on this Saturday. I really hope the sun is shining for you all. Now... I'm wondering if I need to put on a pair of white socks to keep her little feet warm. I have these teeny tiny little socks, but they are padded on the inside. Um, the temperature, my goodness, threads will be the end of me, folks, let me tell you. They will be the end of me. Um, I think I will put on a little pair of socks under the sleeper for her. Her toes are all together, so I don't really need to accept that. You know, it gets a little cold, and she's so tiny. And because of her silicone, I just want her feet to be warm and pad up, you know. So I'm going to put those socks on. And you know, folks, no matter what I've been doing lately, no matter how many hair trims I get, I shed hairs which is terrible. So I have this obsession, obsessive compulsive behavior of checking for little hairs everywhere so that this little girl doesn't get them all over her. But yeah, she's going to have warm feet because oftentimes I'll put on a sleeper on even my newborn size uh, vinyl dolls and I'll put um, booties over the top or socks over the top or 
whatever, but um, with Sabrina this time, I just thought I'd put them underneath and get those on her like that. I'm not sure what this is picking up. It could have came from the hat. So yeah, I have been sorting through a lot of my outfits for my little ones. Making sure what they have is what I want them to have. And fits their personality, fits their style. And getting it to the point where I feel that when I do change in chats, I can pick outfits that are definitely suitable for the dolls because I've done a lot of hit and miss uh, changings um, with my dolls, which I don't mind doing. It's definitely a learning experience and I don't mind uh, hitting and missing for sure. But sometimes I just want to pick the right clothes knowing the color and so i definitely know that sabrina's color is pink and white and this is a white sleeper with pink polka dots there is a little pink elephant on it and that's how she looks in it it's a really perfect fit for her and she's got these little baby hands. Look how tiny her little fingers lift up. You see? So she can grip your finger. She can grip your pinky. See that? She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Her other hand does the same, but with two of their fingers. So on this hand, her left hand, um, all of her hands come up. So all of her fingers come up. You see that? So she's a beautiful doll. Now I'm going to put this bib on her too because it's part of the set. Come here, darling. I really wish a hat came with this set, but a hat did not with this set so I do have a hair band in pink for now that she can wear just a cute little pink one like that oh Look how beautiful she is. I don't even want to put the gloves on her right now, folks, because she is so absolutely adorable. But look how cute these gloves are. I mean, they're teeny tiny. I will show you very briefly how they look on her, but then I'll remove them because I love her hands and I love to look at them. But they do fit absolutely perfectly over her little hands. And it's amazing to me to think that in real life there are little tiny itty bitty babies this size. Look at that. All in white. Pretty in pink and white. But I just wanted to show you She's got those there. And do I want to put a sweater on her? She does have a sweater. And yeah, I think I'm going to put her. This is a sweater I ordered specifically for her as well. And it's going to come up a little bit past her sleeper. But I've been dressing the Reborns lately as if I'm taking them out. So I'm almost wondering if I do want to put a hat on her. 
And I do have some hats. I do love this one. I do love this one. She's got a collection of hats. She's got this one here. She's got a couple of other ones. Um, I could spend all day probably showing you them. But all her clothes, I mean. Um, but I think that I will put on the hat just because I have been dressing all of the other Reborns as if they're going out. And um, the hat is really sweet. But I won't do up her sweater right now because she's got that elephant bib on. But I just want to see what this hat looks like even though she's got this beautiful headband on. I love it because you could pick any side. So you can get that much color, or you can get like more of a white color, or this color. So I'm not sure. I think I want to put the pink and the blue. And I really love the way that this hat fits on Sabrina. I really do just makes her look so comfortable. Oh, isn't she just absolutely precious? Oh my goodness, she is. She is a precious little girl. I'm gonna remove her mittens and her little hairband. I'm gonna bring back her blankie. Let's get her hat fixed up nice. I'm going to angle her a little bit so you guys can see her. She's got her pink little lovey blankie, her sweater, her mouse. And what else was I going to put with her? Oh, her soother. That's right. I'll put some more gel on her soother and give her her soother back. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys have a fun, exciting day or a relaxing, calm day, however you choose your day to be. And I am glad it's the weekend, although I still have to do a lot of catch up, boy. It's been a really busy week for me, but yet at the same time, that's how life is. Life just seems to go by in a snap. And um, I am so grateful to each and every one of you for all of your likes on my videos at that angle with that big soother. <laughs> you can barely see her little face. Let me try to turn her around so that you're getting her in the light. There we go. There is sweet Sabrina with little mouse. And um, these are all her blankets. She's got her pink blanket here from her cradle. And I usually wrap her right back up. She's got the pillow from the nest bed there. But there is that darling girl. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in yet again. Keep your eyes peeled for the special for all of you that have requested uh, the video on Sabrina's Drink and Wet System. That will be a special video that I post, uh, not on a Silicone Saturday because I have other plans on Silicone Saturdays, but it will be a, a video sometime soon. So thank you all very much and remember that... Um, be safe out there. Have fun. And know, just know in your heart that it's okay just to be you the way you are. It's perfectly okay, folks. Because you know what? You're the only person that can be you. So with that being said, instead of my usual, we're perfectly imperfect, I will let you go. And I wish you the best Saturday ever. Take care of you all. Take care of your families. 
and take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.